Hello. I'm out here today fishing up this brook. Gorgeous as you've seen walking up through. It's not in a park. <laughs> it's in the forest. Just out in the middle of nowhere basically. So I've got a few bites. I just seen down there probably three four inch minnows. First cast down below I've got a bite. But I'm using an artificial fly. So after they bite it once or twice, they're not going to hit it again because they don't taste anything. So you got to get them first or second shot usually, especially for trout. They're very finicky. So I'm going to keep going up through here and hopefully I can catch a trout or two. Gorgeous spot. So up these brooks, like this here, these small brooks, this is what you look for. Right there is nice and shallow, opens up into a deep spot and there's also lying down logs and bushes and stuff. That's where the fish hide under. So I have to fish down into this cast down close to the fallen material without getting snagged and see if I can pull them out and lure them out from underneath there. Great spot. Let's see if there's any fish in there. These small streams like this, brook trout don't get much bigger. You get six, seven. You're lucky if you get an eight inch. This one here is about a six inch trout. But as you've seen, <laughs> it like that spot. He's a little bit too small for me. He's uh. If I had a few of these, I'd keep it, but I'm going to let that one go, just because it's right around six inches by five and a half, six inches. Just a, I want something a little bit bigger before I keep one to take home. So let's see if we can get another one. That there is perfect. It's deep water. Plenty of place for them to hide. You just got to get your bait close enough to it that they'll come out and grab it. But, without getting it caught and losing your lure. Woo! So, it can be tricky. Ah, perfect. Kind of just dang on it there for a minute. Oh, I see one coming out. Looks like a big, uh, look like either a small trout or a big minnow. Oh. Going to try a couple casts here, but I see up there it is this big pool. I'm going to go up there and cast down in this, and maybe there's something in along these banks. But we'll try a couple more casts right here. That was a nice one. See if I can lure them out. Problem is, it's, it's uh, all sunny, and it's going to take a lot to lure them out. Yeah, I don't see anything coming out, so what I'm going to do is go up there and try from that area.
see a few minnows coming towards it. And then they come up and they actually see me where this is still water and they turn. But there's nothing any size right here right now. Oh, there he, yeah. Minnow just hit twice. It was about probably three inches. <laughs> now I got like a two inch fish following it right now. <laughs> Gonna have to try to find another hole upstream. So there is fish in here anyhow. Just gotta find that larger fish. Let's get to her. This is surprising that I'm not catching something out of this. This looks like a perfect spot. They have cover with this foam. The boss right here. This looks like a perfect spot. I can't believe that. It's kind of hard to believe there's no fish in here. This here is another deep hole runs off into here and goes around. But I can pretty well see the bottom in through here. Not much for cover. But, if I go up there where the mouth goes into this area and the rapids if I run up through there may not see me and it may feel that it has some cover from the distortion in the water. So, we're going to try a cast up there, a cast or two and see if there's anything up there. That there, like I said, looked like a great spot. It's deep enough. You've got the cover of the ripples. But, you don't have any cover in there for rocks and so on that they can hide in under. So, no fish in there. Keep on going. Had a really good fight right there. Get him again. Got him. Oh, yeah, stop, stop, stop. That one there is about seven inches. Nice brook trout. Now if I had this one and that other one, make a nice little meal. Okay, I'm gonna keep this one here. And he's a fat one, that's for sure. Look at the pretty colors in him. Very pretty fish. Can't get them <laughs> full in there. I've got to dispatch this fish, but that's one I'm going to keep. It's a keeper. I'm going to keep on going up through. I might try for another one in this spot, but I still don't know where. I've never been this far in this river. Just going to keep going up, see what I can catch. Such a young boy fishing these streams. 
That is what we've used for fish stringers right there. Cut yourself a branch. This goes up through the gills and out through the mouth. Like that. And that's how you carry your fish. Just like that. It's kind of sketchy right here. That is clearly a den of some sort. It's a big one too. You can see the trail leading right inside. Yeah. I've went pretty far up this trail and up this stream. I have no clue where it goes. It's a big lake up at the other end, I believe, but I should have hit it by now. So I've been fishing up this stream for a couple hours now. And I was kind of thinking, well, I should have hit the lake that I thought this went to because I've never been up this stream. But on the map, you can look and there's a big lake up here somewhere. So I thought I would have hit it by now. It's, you know, getting later in the day. So you always give yourself plenty of time, more than enough time to make it back out before dark. I always do. I know it took a couple hours to get here, but who knows how long it may take to get out. It may only take me a couple hours, it may take me three or four, it's according on what I stop, I may fish, or I may hurt myself. So always give yourself plenty of time. Now, as I was walking up through there, I thought I might have heard a grunt. And, it, and you got the water noise here and stuff, I wasn't quite sure. It was just a low, it sounded like a bear grunt. But I thought, ah, it must be just the way the noise was or whatever with the river. You know, but I, then I turned around and I seen those dens. Could be a bear den, it could be coyote, I don't know. I don't know if that was a bear, you know, grunt or not. But I'm walking around with fish now, and right now there's lots of mother bears with cubs, and they want to feed those cubs. And I'm walking through the woods trailing fish. I have no weapon, I've got a knife. So you just don't take chances like that. I was going to turn around anyhow, give myself plenty of time. But that may have gave me, you know, yep, that made my decision for me. I'm not going to walk up through there. That's all padded down. You can see with this heavy traffic. So I'm not going to take the chance of walking onto a mother and its cubs. I'm going to start heading back, possibly fish a couple of those spots that I had a couple bites. But... This trip has just been beautiful. The scenery, the, you know, the babbling of the brook, and so on. Fishing is, you know, it's nice to catch a fish and have a little, you know, munch kind of deal. But, it's also the beauty of getting outside and going up one of these little streams. Only got a little ice fishing pole, actually. And that's all I need in these small brooks. Easy to maneuver around the bush and it casts as far as I need to. I'm heading out. Now, I just cleaned this it's about five inches after you got it and such. But I just cleaned it with a river stone that I found. I cut into a sharp edge and so on. I'll leave a link in the video on where you can check that out. I'm going to make a separate video on how to clean a trout with only a river stone. So, thanks a lot.
and appreciate you following me along. Take care. It's been a very, very nice trip and a lot of gorgeous scenery.